that's going to save you. They won't unchain you. Those idols you believe in and one stroke they're undone. You'll be filled with fear knowing then you've got love. About time you should shut up. Um, what brings you guys out today? Well, you understand anybody who calls them a gay Christian hasn't really read the Bible. You can't call yourself serving Christ and following Christ and at the same time condoning that which he forbids. What, what, what do you think of the big game on Monday? Do you got Ohio State or Oregon? Well, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of like uh, Urban Meyer. So if you had to have gay sex with either Urban Meyer or Mark Helfrich, which one would you prefer? You're a, you're a light and treacherous man. You have no gravity about your own. I'm, I'm just asking a question. I'm, you're not just asking a question. You're, you're, you're a very embarrassing and light and treacherous man. Our football players, sinners. I mean, they shower together. They're wearing those tights. If you were wearing, if you were asking a sincere and relevant question, I'd answer. But think about it. What, what are you, 25, 30 years old? You're standing out here asking a question like that. Yeah. Have a little bit of gravity in your life. Who do you think has a bigger penis between the two quarterbacks, Mariota or Cardell Jones? I'm going to talk to you. Now, there's obviously some tension here. I suggest that everybody just have some gay sex and, and, and release the tension. This guy here looks pretty tense. You think he could use some gay sex in his life? You're dragging the flag on the ground. That's not a crime. What he's doing is a crime. But is that a sin to drag them? You get up in people's personal space and they're fearful of your assault. Hey, well, I think I know what will help this whole situation. I think if you guys just both have some gay sex, that'll ease the tension a little bit. I know that's Oregonian way, but it ain't the way of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm just saying have an open mind. It's obviously there's some tension here. Having some gay sex will help alleviate that tension. I think it'd be closer to her than you got to me. I didn't get any closer to her than you got to me. Now, I, I can't help but notice you guys are parodying music from devout sinners here. Is that a sin to parody that, mu to parody that music? It's an excellent strategy because what we're doing is we're warning. So we warn you in the language that you speak. So even, we take the music even, even if you, you have to sin while doing it. There's no sin in, in that. stealing someone else's music? That's not a sin. Now, to, in order to use the music, did you guys have to have gay sex with Eminem? Or, or straight, straight sex? A sincere and a sure it is. Sure it is. Just a silly person. You're just a silly person. You have a, you're asking silly uh, questions that have nothing to do with the serious matters that we're trying to discuss today. Wait, is, is Urban Meyer going to hell? Or is Urban Meyer going to heaven? Look, I don't have an opinion on Urban Meyer as it relates to the matters at hand. I can tell you right now, but he doesn't stand out there in the street and flaunt his sin and be proud of it and ask people to applaud it like these fags do. Don't you think that's a sin to even put that image on a sign? Yeah, but it, isn't it a sin to even put the imagery on there? So he's sinning right now. Are you are you going to go to hell for holding that sign? He's not doing that But he's the one promoting it with the imagery right there. He's saying it's a bad church and a big church. That's why we're. I don't know. I, I think I think you're giving the people here some ideas, you know, and that, that imagery helps put that in people's minds.